Hi guys, welcome to Random Thoughts Thursday. My name is Maddie Kemp and welcome to my channel. Um, something I get asked about a lot is sort of therapy I do to keep my horses feeling good. So um, I'm gonna share a couple of different things that I do to keep them feeling good while I'm traveling a lot. So my horses spend a lot of time in the trailer um, and we compete a lot too, so they make a lot of runs. So, you know, just like us or any other athlete, they get aches and pains. And of course, you know, the horses tend to come first. I mean, my horses see their their equine therapist quite frequently and I don't even remember the last time I went to the chiropractor so you know I think that's <laughs> common for horse girls but anyways I'm gonna share with you some of the things I do to keep my horses feeling good when we're traveling and competing a lot So you guys have seen probably in a lot of my videos and also on my Snapchat and that kind of thing um, that I use a nebulizer on my horses and I get asked a lot what that is and what it does. So um, I have, there's a few different brands and kinds of nebulizers. I have one that's called a Flexi Neb and the reason I chose that one is I asked a friend of mine about it, she's a dealer um, for this company and I said, okay, why do I want this one over everything else? And she basically explained to me that it's the best machine on the market and um, the size of molecule that this nebulizer creates allows um, whatever product you're using to properly get into the respiratory tract and um, I'm the kind of person that I want someone else to do the research and tell me what I need to do <laughs> I don't want to have to go and do a ton of research myself um, the other thing I liked about it is it's cordless there was a couple appeals to me about the cordless aspect. One, you can do treatments anywhere. You don't have to worry about finding a plug-in. And two, if you have a horse that's a little bit squirrely, like Grinchy can be sometimes, you don't have to worry about them being attached to a cord. I thought, you know, if this thing is plugged into a wall somewhere and it's got all these cords, I'm just asking for trouble, especially if my horse freaks out. So I like the fact that it's cordless and really easy to use. Oh yeah, hi. <laughs> Okay, so people ask, what does this nebulizer do? So it depends what you put in it. There's a whole bunch of different options. You can get different medications from your vet or you can use different kind of natural alternative things. So a few different things that I put in there, um, depending when I'm using it. So when it was really smoky here, I used what's called chelated silver. And chelated silver is kind of more of a natural thing to help kill any bacteria that might be in the respiratory tract or in the lungs. And being that my horses are outside and breathing in those smoke particles all day, I was doing a nebulizer treatment with the chelated silver once a day. I also usually do chelated silver after I run just in case my horses were to bleed. I didn't know about it. This would kill any bacteria in there. Before I run, I usually will use saline and mix that with a couple of different things. It depends, um, but sort of my go-to is saline and eucalyptus, and that will help to open the lungs before you run. There's also different medications you can get from your vet that would be called bronchiodilators, and those will help to open the lungs so your horse can breathe better when you're running. Okay, so my equine therapists, these girls are sent from heaven. Seriously, we could not do this without them. <laughs> I absolutely love the two equine therapists that I use and my horses love them, which is pretty cool. So I'm very lucky to have both of these girls on my team and have their support. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what they both do. They both do two very different things and that's the cool thing about using both of them is I feel like my horses are covered from all angles. One of the girls I use is Morgan Ustra from Prosperity Equine. So Morgan uses this machine called a MagnaWave machine, which is really good for soreness and circulation, um, among a million other things. I'm not going to go into too much detail, um, but she uses her MagnaWave machine as well as does massage. Mm -hmm. I also use Katie Craig from No Limits Equine Therapy, and Katie uses a machine called a Revitavet Light, which is also good for soreness and circulation um, as well. She's also a um, horse chiropractor, so she's able to work on their skeletal system as well. And last but not least, one of my kind of easiest things, I guess you could say, to keep my horses feeling good is my therapeutic products. So the few things that I use, um, I can't really do without. So I've always had a back on track blanket. So back on track helps with circulation and healing. And then I actually won um, a hands bow blanket last year. Um, yeah, last year. And 
I love it as well. So the thing, the hands bow is ceramic and magnetic, whereas the back on track is just ceramic. So both really, really great products. I love both of them. I have now I have two horses that need them and two blankets. So I rotate between the two. Um, just depends, you know, which one's going to wear that one, whatever. I often get asked if these products make a difference and what made me realize that they do is I actually forgot both my blankets one weekend and went away to rodeo for the weekend and with my horses not having them to wear I noticed they were significantly more body sore so I think it just helps to take care of general aches and pains which obviously they get when they're traveling and competing a lot. Besides my therapeutic blankets I also have some back on track quick wraps so I like those, especially if my horses are standing around a lot. I find sometimes, you know, Grinchy being a little bit older, she can get a little bit stocked up if she's standing in a small space or when we're traveling a lot. So I put them on her in the trailer quite often. I also put them on her if she's going to be standing still for a long time, tied up to the trailer, that kind of thing. Um, so again, they just help with circulation, keep the blood flowing and help to bring some soreness down. Well, thanks for watching you guys. I hope that was somewhat interesting, maybe a little bit helpful, gave you some ideas to keep your horses feeling good on the road while you're competing and traveling. So thank you for watching Random Thoughts Thursday today. If you're liking my videos, please subscribe to my channel.